you want your freedom, you can have it. Uh, you're gonna write a check to me and School of Self for $100,000, as I told you. Uh, this is the case when this happens because you've robbed me of everything. You did not pay me correctly. You told me all of this money is mine as I did all the work. And um, you're now on your own. If your mother doesn't realize we were your family, you didn't tell her that? YouTube. Good news about this story also is that Diego has spoken to Dana White apparently and that Dana White is getting involved to help protect Diego and anyone else who's involved in this story. So that's good. All the good guys are on the same side. But anyway, buckle up and watch some serious craziness here. Now, who you're looking at in this video right here is Joshua Fabia. If you're not aware of who he is, he is a four foot one charlatan cult leader who infiltrated the MMA community by tricking Diego Sanchez into believing that he was some kind of God guru. And what he actually did was he destroyed Diego's career. He made an OnlyFans of Diego, making it into gay OnlyFans that Diego was unaware was even happening. He In this video, he's going to extort Diego out of $100,000 on video. And we're going to talk about what kind of absolute imbecile would have recorded this because he's the one who recorded the entire transaction while simultaneously setting up Diego to sue the UFC because of his diminished mind state. What kind of moron would in the same video discuss that Diego needs to sue the UFC because he has such terrible CTE and then simultaneously record himself extorting $100,000 out of him and think that that would be evidence that supports his position. Now, the reason that we're talking about this guy again is because he is back and he is on a rampage. Diego Sanchez is in the process of filing restraining order against him because get this, someone bought a bag of illegal drugs and planted it in Diego's truck and then tried to frame him for possession of those things in an attempt to discredit Diego for reasons I will also reveal to you guys here. Now, do I know for 100% sure that it was this two foot four garden gnome named Josh Fabia that put those pills into Diego's truck? I don't. It could have been a different two foot four garden gnome that was not Josh Fabia that put those pills in the truck. The only reason I'm assuming that it's this little guy is because at the exact same time that that happened, this one was sending a bunch of emails all over the place and then sending text messages all over the place, literally within days of this, saying all kinds of very nasty things about Diego trying to discredit him. And so, I don't know, I just inferred that most likely it was probably him that did it. And so actually they, everybody around is like, no, nah, it's probably him. So you guys can think of that whatever you will. I guess I should also say that when I'm saying extorted him for $100,000, that's just my interpretation. I wouldn't say for sure that it's extortion. It's just the way that I interpreted it. I'm not stating it as a fact. I'm just saying I watched that. It looks like extortion to me, but I'm no expert. So maybe it was just a completely legitimate exchange of money for services rendered that you hadn't been paid for. You see that little guy? If you were five foot tall minimum and you had an associated sized brain, then you would understand that what I just did is I protected myself against a defamation lawsuit. See, you don't really understand how this works. That's why you recorded yourself acknowledging on video that the person you're extorting has diminished mental capacity and then simultaneously you took a hundred grand from him and thought that that would not be easily shown that you were taking advantage of someone that you knew you were taking advantage of. It's just one of those things, dude. Like you can only work with the brain that God gave you and you are very, very small. And when you're very, very small, your brain is very, very small. And so it's not, uh, you know, you could talk real confident, but if your brain is only this big, it's hard to make those kinds of connections, which is why you're going to lose the forthcoming lawsuit that is coming down the pipe at you. And from what I understand it, Diego's got some pretty powerful people funding the lawyers that are gonna come for you. And we have so much to get to that we just are gonna have to start going and then we're gonna talk more about the, the, the context that's going on right now. But what you need to know is that in this video, what you're looking at is after Diego found out that Joshua Fabia had created a gay only fans, that he had not told Diego about and he found that out because of Diego's family and they came to Diego and they were like he created a gay only fans of you were you aware of this he said no of course not and so they were like you need to get rid of this guy okay 
He's a predator, which is exactly accurate. And anybody who remembers this situation knows that that is exactly what he was. There was the video of him hanging Diego upside down and punching him in the head. As a matter of fact, let's look at that really quick. Now, in case anybody wants to defend him in that video, oh, yeah, you know, well, at least he thought he was doing something good. Uh, I asked Diego the other day, literally, like, within the last two days, I'm like, what's the worst thing that this guy did to you? I'm going to read you his answer, okay? So he said, uh, he said, you had asked me what the most evil thing that Fabia had did. I have to say, locking me outside in sub-zero weather, making me pour cold water over my body, and making me stay out there for two hours until the sun came up, along with laying on the floor and whipping me with an actual real whip, and using animal claws, scraping my back with animal claws, along with making me sleep on the floor for four months. Uh, those are at the top of the list. Now that I'm stepping out of his fear tactics that were put on put on me through psychedelic manipulation, just like Charlie Manson. So he's giving him drugs, psychedelic drugs, and then doing all this stuff to him. He put me in fear that he was going to kill me or hurt my family. Believe me, I wanted to kill him in his sleep, but I just would have gone to prison and be away from my daughter. I truly was trapped. Now I'm free and God is going to restore everything he stole from me and then some. So just in case, you know, you're going to get any misconceptions about the video that you just watched of him hanging him upside down and abusing him. This guy's a psycho, okay? Fabia might be three foot four, but he's a psycho, okay? A psycho. Think about who Diego is. Anybody who's ever spoken to Diego Sanchez, anybody who's ever had any interaction with him, imagine telling that guy to pour cold water on himself and then lay outside or having him lay on the ground, having that guy trust you and you're like, you know what I'm going to do with that trust? I'm going to have him lay on the ground and I'm going to take this bull whip and I'm going to whip him with it. Okay? There's a, there's a name for a person who would do that. And it's a psychopath. You want to know why I'm not worried about calling that little guy a psychopath? It's because he picks on people who are defenseless, who have given their trust over to him. Okay? Not people who know exactly what he is. I don't think he's dangerous at all. I don't believe his story about killing two people in Oregon. I don't believe you, dude. I don't believe you at all. I think if you showed up at my door, I'd flick you in the forehead and you would fly through the air like you were like a, like a little ant on my arm. You're about as scary as a mosquito that's sucking on my arm that I caught and went. That's what you look like to me, little guy. Okay. The only way that he gets over on anybody is by tricking them mentally into believing he's some kind of messiah, which is the move that he pulls. And apparently he likes to give people psychedelic drugs in order to really reinforce that stupid, made up, nonsensical idea. So after that video came out and the OnlyFans and all that, Diego's family made an intervention, told him they had to get rid of Josh Fabia. And then this is what happened afterwards when Fabia knew he wasn't gonna be able to win here. So this is how he had Diego get rid of him, okay? Watch the manipulation, watch the, the, the cult leader's psychotic nonsense, and watch him force Diego to cut him a check for $100,000. and for mine, okay? So our relationship is now nil and void. Uh, I cannot in good faith no longer stand next to you or work for you when your own mother doesn't even know who I am. I gave you a chance to write a letter and tell her the truth. She doesn't even know who I am, can't say a positive word. That's your mother and you think I'm gonna be able to be uh, I said vindicated. Okay, well that part doesn't matter. I, I, like I said, you want your freedom, you can have it. Uh, you're gonna write a check to me and school itself for $100,000, as I told you. Uh, this is the case when this happens because you've robbed me of everything. You did not pay me correctly. You told me all of this money is mine as I did all the work. And um, you're now on your own. If your mother doesn't realize we were your family, you didn't tell her that, 
Fuck you, dude. I, I, I'm getting shit from every corner. Get, get a pen, please. Uh, from every corner and your own mother. So I can't uh, help you anymore if your own mother is not giving me the blessing to help you. And she doesn't know your truth. And so now I am going to have to protect myself. And like I told you, expose you since you didn't want to expose yourself, since you didn't want to tell the truth, okay? I don't have a life. And you're coming at me like I fucked up your life. Your mom's looking at me crazy. I'm getting half hugs. I'm going out to dinner. I'm telling you to go to dinner with her. I'm setting everything up. I'm having fucking Thanksgiving with her, right? Okay, so you can see how this is uh, incorrect. Oh, we're just getting warmed up, by the way. That's only one of three videos, and that's the shortest one. Just getting started into who is this little creep. So just to recap, right? This guy ruined Diego's career, okay? While everybody else recognized exactly what he was, all right? Now, this is the craziest part about this. In this guy's brain, in emails that I will show you subsequently, assuming that we have time in this video, otherwise they'll be in follow-up videos, which I am sure that we're going to do here. In this guy's mind, he really believes this, that Diego Sanchez was responsible for the destruction of his reputation, okay? Now, we're gonna talk all about this video that we just watched, but he really believes this, that Diego took everything from him. You wanna know who the only person who never said a single negative thing about him was Diego. And you wanna know why his reputation got destroyed is because he is a charlatan little creep who has always preyed on the mentally weak who are looking for something that they can't find. And he comes in and pretends to be some kind of guru and tells him that he's killed a hundred people and that he levitated above the earth and that he's able to go back in time and change time, you know, time and space and that his leg got shattered by cowboy's friend in a million places, but somehow he's able to walk on it no problem 48 hours later and he just healed himself. That's a true story, okay? And what happened is, he jumped on Diego's back. He would have never been able to get into a community like ours, ever. He jumped on Diego's back and walked into a community where the people in terms of your average street smarts is probably the highest of any professional community that you could ever be in. If you're looking for people who can sniff bullshit, okay, from 10,000 miles away, and that's a concern for you, like if you are bullshit, and you want to keep your facade up, the last place that you should want to make yourself visible is in combat sports because we'll fucking sniff you out in one second, a millisecond, less than a second. Before you even fucking talk, we've sniffed you out. Fabia was the most obvious charlatan little shitbag of all time and we, we figured him out instantly, instantly. And then so people just started talking about who he was. That ruined your that ruined your reputation because you never had a reputation. Your reputation was created the second that you jumped on the back of someone that had some visibility and you learned the hard way what smart people think about you. And you blame the guy whose back you rode in on. Now we have a lot more videos to watch. However, I need to tell you where this is all coming from. So Diego Sanchez has a new documentary coming out. When Joshua Fabia found out about this, he freaked out. And he assumed that Diego was probably going to share with the world the reality of Joshua was involvement in his life and so he went on a rampage to try to discredit Diego and so when the documentary came out which he has no idea what's in it but when it came out he would have discredited Diego so this is one of many emails that were sent around uh, in an attempt to discredit Diego let's just start here uh Joshua Fabia giving you Diego's whole truth and nothing but the truth uh so Hello, Mr. Min. Uh, my name is Joshua Fabia, and I know that you are, I know that you know who I am. I'm informing you now on the record that if you use me or my image or say anything about me in the Diego Sanchez nightmare documentary, that my lawyers will be in contact with you immediately. You don't have a lawyer. Just, you don't have a lawyer, dude. Um, you must ask yourself why Diego not, did not want you to interview me or speak to me. I'm sure he told you many disturbing lies about me, which he does not have any proof to back up. Oh, he doesn't? Does he have any proof of the, the gay only fans that you created? Because we're definitely going to watch that, dude. Okay? Because I have that proof. Because I made a YouTube video about it that went viral. Okay? I looked at all the posts that you made. Right? 
I have all the evidence because even though that's taken down, my video is still up. So we'll definitely look at that. Uh, continuing on with this email, uh, he said, as you may or may not know, UFC has monopolized and controlled the MMA community, the MMA fighting industry for the past 30 years. It has gradually taken over in, in the MMA industry. Uh, and the UFC has perpetuated fake masculinity and violent exploitation of fighters. They have used illegal business practices to abuse and manipulate their fighters, employees, the public, and the fans. They are about to go to court over a $1.6 billion class action lawsuit. It is an antitrust lawsuit, and there are hundreds of fighters included. Wow, that's some really deep uh, insight, dude. You, Oh, you have Google? Good for you. I am emailing you as a courtesy because I sold thousands of pieces of content to a new media outlet, and that content will start to be released about three weeks from now. The information I am presenting is about the UFC and their illegal business practices, but also relates personally to the professional relationship between Diego and I, as Diego was abused and manipulated by the UFC for 20 years. This turned him into a liar, a drug addict, a cheater, an overall manipulative and malicious person. Diego ended up abusing others the way that he was being abused, and unfortunately, I was not safe from this. Diego presented himself as someone who was down and out and as, as a now single father struggling to support his daughter as he was going through a divorce at the time. In actuality, Diego has been a neglectful father and does not make the best decisions to protect his daughter. Out of compassion, I just saw a human being in need and helping people is what I do. Back in May 2021, I cut ties with Diego professionally. Oh, weird. That was one month after my videos about him blew up. And uh, maybe two weeks after the OnlyFans one broke. Shortly after this, I had requested his medical records as he had received many injuries, blah, 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 blah. So that is a story about how he was setting up to use Diego in order to sue the UFC so that based on our last video, he could, in my opinion, snake the settlement the second that Diego got it. Or at the very least, tell Diego that they're splitting it. He'd keep most of it. You know, he'd pull a Michael Avenatti, you know, probably should get a cell right next to him. If Michael Avenatti likes dudes, I have a feeling that Josh Fabia might have a hell of a time in jail. Avenatti's a good-looking dude, and I know that Josh Fabia likes to get pounded like a little girl. I heard. It's a legend, dude. I'm not making an actual, you know, like, just I, if I was going to look at someone and I'm like, hey, which, which of these dudes is not like the other? Which of them would like to see if he could swallow a banana hole? I would say... Little Fabia, the gnome that can swallow a garden hose. Uh, so now let's look at some of these really, really great text messages that he sent Diego. So Diego, in case you guys didn't know, was married briefly and then uh, the divorce got, and then they, uh, I'm sorry, the marriage got annulled a couple weeks later. So when Fabia found that out, he was like, you know what? It's time for me to get him. So uh, here is Joshua Fabia. I'm not even going to read Diego's because who cares about what Diego says in defense of himself to this creep psychopathic bully. Uh, so he said, uh, heard you fucked up with the queen T. You are a punk ass bitch. Better watch your bitch ass in public. It's on. It's on. You're punk ass. You have enemies everywhere. Eyes and ears everywhere, bitch. Only reason anyone gave you respect is because of T, bitch boy. You fucked up. You even your mama's prayers can't can't save you now. Good. He said uh, your jealousy, envy, and hatred is our cancer to your mind, body, and spirit. Is what Diego said back. And so uh, Joshua said, "Good to hear. You're good with the Lord. You're gonna need it. You have pissed off too many people." To get out of this. I don't need to see her screenshots. It's still on, boy. I will show the homies that you're showing screenshots. That's what you call a rat boy. Rat boy. Who you want to say, I am dumb. You will see how dumb we are. You know what the wages of sin of a rat boy. See you soon, rat boy. Uh, I don't know what that means so Diego obviously said I do not know what I did to you to make you want to harm me I'm trusting God he is my everything and if it's just time if it's just my time to go it's in his hands just be aware okay so like you know Diego did what you would expect him to do because Diego's like a good dude who's not malicious and still doesn't fight back when this cocksucker is threatening him like that okay so 
let's go ahead and uh oops no let's watch this video now and uh let's just see how much of this we get through so i can't even remember which one that wait hang on let me see so this one is oh yeah this is the next one okay uh so let's watch this one and then we'll continue do my psychological I, I, like, I like how you're saying that like i wasn't here saying to do this fucking long time ago but mister i don't want to get the ct scan at the hospital that's you playboy don't forget that look in the camera and say after I was hit with an illegal knee so this is, and asked by a doctor. And this is after he wrote the check. Okay, they got that business out of the way. Now, now, Josh wants to get all of this on camera because he thinks this is going to somehow make him look good at some point. This is like his insurance policy, this video. Fucking idiot, dude. Front of my manager, and I denied saying I want to get a CT scan. Say that, man. Yeah, I denied wanting yeah. to get a CT scan That's when I had two broken ribs and... And I was and I was on morphine in the hospital. I did, and and that was and a lot of fighters do it. We we all well, all we don't want to get the the CT scan. Sometimes. Exactly. And see, and, this and is this is a year ago on on doc This is like it's it's just infuriating, dude. Like if you don't if you are a person that is in combat sports, you don't feel protective of Diego from a piece of shit like this guy. I don't know, man. You're you're not like me, like me, dude. You're not like me. You know, Diego's like Forrest Gump. And I mean that like in a complimentary way where he's just like a good dude, but very susceptible to fucking evil little manipulative cocksuckers like Josh Fabia. So, uh, you know, when he's like, tell the camera, Diego's like, yes, sir. And it's just like, God, it makes my blood boil, dude. Not only the whole time I've known you, I've told you you need to get checked. The whole time you've been running from this idea. This has been a problem since the very beginning. I said to you, I said this stuff to you. Have we not talked about this ring trauma, this octagon trauma? Have we not talked about these things way before the reckoning, way before any of this stuff, right? D, is this yes or no, man? Yeah, yeah, okay. This. So you know this is to, to be true? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So this is all I'm saying is there is no way to act like I'm going to get my brain tested. Of course, man, I've been trying to get you to. So don't come at me with that attitude. I'm not the one in hindering your health in any capacity. So even if you, have I hurt you? Am I hindered your health? No, he's helped my health. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Get oh, is that right? Helped his health, hung him upside down, punched him and kicked him in the head. Really, really helped his health. On the facts, we'll get that on the facts right here, clear and cut. Cause there was a video of us doing some training. They call the infamous punching the human punching bag video where I'm hanging upside down and we're doing some bone conditioning, muscle conditioning, and he's hitting me and we use sticks normally to do this. And we use I, fists too, Diego. I have lots of video of me doing We use fists. fists too. And this is a video that I was not getting hurt at all. And I was just breathing right, breathing off the the punches, and uh, I vouch for Josh right now, and I'll say on camera that number one, he never hurt me. Number two, he he helped me a lot and he healed me a lot, and and so that's on camera right now because the world needs to know. So uh, that was pretty convincing for me, dude. I feel convinced now that Fabia definitely had Diego's best interest at heart. So now we're going to watch this one, and this is the longest one. This is right after the end of the first video, where now Diego is writing a check for $100,000, and you're now going to get to hear Fabia lay on the guilt trip nice and thick and nice and deep. So uh, give this a go. I've only seen the first minute of this. I actually wanted to react to this for the first time uh, on the video. So let's do this together. Right. You can call up... Uh... Angela, and you can go do your life, man. Go do your life. I'm clearly in the way. I'm clearly in the way. I've, I've, I've... You couldn't be in the way of anybody if you tripled in size, dude. You could stand in the doorway and you wouldn't be in the way. You are not big enough to be in anyone's way. If you were in my way, I would grab a receptacle and I would go like this. Boop. Boop. You stay in there, Josh Bobby. You're in everybody's way. You stay in this coffee cup, okay? I would hide him in my vape. I would smoke some Fabia. You little mother. You are not big enough to be in anybody's way. Impeded you. 
So I don't want to be in the way anymore, man. You had a friend, you had a brother. Shit, man, you had somebody trying to build a house for, for you. You just fucked me, dude. To find out your mom thinks that anything less of me than I'm a good person. She couldn't even say, well, his character seems pretty good from what I can see. She couldn't even say that. Couldn't say it, man. Man, that's fucking nuts. <coughs> So you gotta write also, not just training D, you gotta write, um, what is it called? Rehab? At home yeah. rehab. At home rehab. Four months. And management. And ETC, etc. Because it's countless, man. It's countless. How many meals I cook for you? How much, how many times? I gotta make sure you've taken your daughter to school on time. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not, dude. Oh my god. He's writing him a check for a hundred grand and he's like, hey man, how many meals did I cook for you? Hmm? I thought he's your best friend, dude. You know how many meals I've cooked for my friends, you fucking little weasel? You little weasel. Okay. How many times I make sure you got your daughter's school on time, man? Every time I asked, that was five grand. You just didn't realize it. You fucking little shit. Doing that. <sighs> but you didn't express that correctly. So here's Charles fucking coming at me left. Non-stop, man. Non-stop. Let me tell you guys something. You want to know what the number one trait of sociopaths is? True story. Like if you ask any sociopath what, what emotion that they want to elicit from other people is. Actually, let me rewind. If I asked you, like what emotion do you want to elicit from under other people that you interact with? Right? So it's like, like for me, I would say I want people to like me. You know what I mean? Like that's it. That's my, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my kind of like North, North star is like, I just want people to like me, you know, if they don't, it's not like the end of the world, but if I have the choice, that's what I want. Sociopaths will say, and I tell you this as an educated person about sociopaths, all of them will say they want people to feel sorry for them. How fucking psychotic is that dude? How psychotic is that? They want people to feel sorry for them. Okay. Now I realize that probably sounds like, oh, well then that must mean all the woke people are sociopaths. They're just pathetic. Sociopaths want people to feel sorry for them so they can use it as manipulation to get what they want. And that is what you're looking at right here in this little fucking weasel. Come sit down over here, Rebecca. Okay. Exist, since it's the fucking end and you haven't had a chance to exist. Why don't you finally come on camera since there wouldn't be any of this fucking Diego brand or any awareness that he even exists if it wasn't for us recording everything. Let's <laughs> not acknowledge that. What, dude? There wouldn't be any Diego awareness if it wasn't for you? You delusional little lunatic. What on earth are you talking about, dude? There'd be no Josh Fabia if it wasn't for Diego. You guys do not exist. You guys, as soon as you were away from Diego, not one, believe me, I was looking because I was looking for material to make fun of you about. You are the easiest target of all time, dude. Of all time. How did you carry those pills that I showed at the beginning of the thing? You know, the bag of pills that got hidden in Diego's truck? The only reason I think that might not have been you is because each of the pills is the same size as your torso. How did you carry an entire bag of them? It would be hard for me to carry seven torsos, and those pills are all the same size as your torso. How'd you do it, dude? How did you do it? You see, you are the easiest person to make fun of on planet Earth. 
it's hilarious because you talk, hey, you talk like this. And so I know how infuriating it must be when I point out the fact that if I stuck one of my shoes in the closet for too long and you know, like you worry about putting your foot into a shoe and accidentally there's a black widow in there. Well, like I think of you that way. It's like, be careful, check your shoes. If you haven't worn them for a while, make sure Fabia is not hiding in there because you don't want to squish a Fabia because then he might come out and he might go beat up Diego Sanchez to make himself feel better. And I like Diego, you know what I mean? Or like my candles. I always have to check my candles. I don't want to like light the wick and realize that I just melted Fabia because he's such a little guy. You just need to always make sure that you double check all the things that are small because you don't want to hurt it. He's a vindictive little fucker, man. You know? I love making fun of you. And I looked everywhere. You did not fucking exist when Diego let go of you. Literally, you are a non-existent human. You helped his brand. Yeah, right, guy. Oh, I'm sorry. That was him making fun of Diego. That was him making fun of Diego right there. Okay. Because he said, just make sure they know I'm not gay. Because you made a gay only fans of him, dude. That's the most important thing. <sighs> so important. I'm just not gay. That is in response to his family finding out that he had made a gay OnlyFans. He's making fun of Diego about make sure they know I'm not gay. Okay, well, because you made it look like he's gay when you made a gay OnlyFans and didn't tell him. I mean, Jesus, man. This guy is the most delusional little psycho on earth. Most important. Oh, he's so upset. Look, he's going to cry. Did he hurt his little feelings? Look at him. He, he can't believe what Diego did to him. He just can't believe it. I can't believe it. I just can't believe what Diego did to me. Boo. You fucking cry, baby. What size is that hat, dude? I guarantee he wears kid sizes, dude. That girl right there that looks like she's so much bigger than him, she's five foot two. That girl's five foot two. Seriously. Look at how much bigger she is than him. He, she's five two. 112 pounds. That girl is. Give me more of that orange juice. This is how a man, some man drinks orange juice. Get me more. Oh, she's rubbing his little back. She's rubbing his little back. <laughs> Did it hurt its little feelings? And then you can say anything you want to say, Diego. You know I'm open to communication. Because I would love to hear it. Oh, that's cute. Diego's just writing you a check and he's like, okay, bye, motherfucker. Bye, Josh Salt. Oh, I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that. I did boo, 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 and boo, boo, boo. And Diego's just like, just trying to be nice and then get you out of there. And he's like, no, 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 I really, I need to hear what you have to say, Diego. I really need to hear what you have to say. He's like, I don't have anything to say. I think my family said it when you framed me as a homosexual who was doing gay porn. I feel like that pretty much covered it. Get the fuck out of here. I need to hear what you want to say to my face before I hear bullshit in a fucking minute. Oh, 
Oh, it speaks. The Sasquatch 5-2 girl speaks. No, you're just controlling. Shut up, bitch. Okay? Get the fuck out of here. Nobody want to say why I'm in charge and in control of things. It'd be nice to somebody to admit that, you know, Josh is in charge because when I take control of shit, it's all fucked up. It falls apart. I, I wish somebody would just admit that out loud. And do create him and get in the female nest and put my daughter in the car. Yep. Oh, but I'm a good dad. Who's this? I'm going to make this and girl my hobby too. Hang on. Matter of fact, we're just going to keep playing this. I'm going to find out who this girl is. And now she's going to be my hobby as well. I'm a good daddy. I took her to Disney World and she doesn't even remember anything about Disney World. What is she talking about? The hotel? The drive? The rain? Just blows my mind. Mom thinking you're a great dad. Yeah. That's awesome. When she's the one... Parenting. All right. <clears throat> yeah, you got sign and date and all that. Yeah, you gotta make it legal, dude. They're talking to him like this while they're taking a hundred grand off his off his hands. These two little f weasel f sucking pathetic f are talking to him like that while they're cracking him for a hundred grand. God, I wish I could see Josh's face when he sees this video. You know what you should do, Josh? You should look at my entire playlist on you, dude. I've been f***ing your mouth for three years. I'm the, why this happened to you. Not Diego. I'm the reason this happened to you. You should know that, dude. Okay? Diego's family didn't find out about OnlyFans through Diego. They found out it because of me. Me. You want to come to my house? Come to my house and ask me for 100 grand. See how that goes. Bring this fucking lanky skank bitch with you too and see how that goes. I think you guys get the point. And uh, this has been going for 30 to 40 minutes. Long enough. I can't wait to do a follow-up. Josh, you want to come do an interview, dude? I would love to have you on the channel. You know? I would love it. I think it would be great. I think we would have a good time together. Look, I've got a microphone. I've got a microphone for you. I'll have someone hold it for... Oh, you can hold it like this. With, with two hands like this. This thing is heavy. Is it too big for you, dude? I'll have like I'll get like a holder so you can stand in front of it. And actually we'll put it down real low since this would cover your entire face on the camera because you're this big. So I'll put it in the ground. I'll get I'll put a, a, a tiny little chair that you can stand on. And that way you will be right in front of the camera. I'm sorry, the microphone speaking into it when we do the interview dude we could do that or i could actually just put you inside the microphone i bet you that'll have really good sound quality if i actually pop the top off i put you in and then i put the top back on you can just talk and like it i mean it should be a pretty commanding voice if you're actually inside the microphone you little creep or i could have your big lanky amazon girl hold it and then she could talk about all the things diego did and then we can ask why she's hanging out with a clear uh well probable homosexual you know anyway um how you like that apples guy so everybody that's fabia he's back now i'm editing the next day and i just realized that i need to add something to this share this with everyone share this with everyone make sure that everyone in the community gets to see this video of what this guy did so that there's no misconceptions kill his credibility that's exactly what he deserves Anyway, that's what I got. Subscribe to the channel. Love you guys.